The Great Lakes have a natural organizing force for the people of the region. The vastness of them is really hard to convey. The Great Lakes region holds one-fifth of Earth's surface freshwater. They're very, very important to our economy. We've got the world's largest source of clean, fresh water. Kids grow up and they have that memory. They associate it with their time and their summers with their family on the shores of Lake Michigan or Lake Huron. And fishing is an integral part of that. The fish that swim in the water are part of the lifeblood of the Great Lakes region. The importance of fishing is part of that full relationship with the natural world. Fishing is my life. I started fishing as a young kid. You see young adults, you see women, and you see men, and they're all fishing. They just enjoy it. It's just a beautiful place. And a true outdoorsman, this is heaven. Fishing in the Great Lakes is such a valuable resource. For most of history, people simply assumed that the Great Lakes were so vast and packed with fish that there would always be plenty to catch. It was just too easy to throw a net in the water and pull money out. But by the 1950s, everything had changed. The fish most important to people were nearly gone. No one could explain it, let alone fix it. Whether you were in Lake Ontario or Lake Superior or everywhere in between, it was dire. From small towns up to major cities, it was people's livelihoods. We were at a loss as to what we were going to do. Short on hope, some remarkable people tackled the mystery. Their odd discovery still menaces the Great Lakes today. It's been described as a moonshot. Probably the largest scale species recovery program ever. Their battle dramatically changed how people from all walks of life connect with these freshwater seas. We don't want to lose this. We've got to protect it. Mm -hmm.